The Grammy nominee spoke with people about the future of the legendary rap duo and his upcoming performance as part of the Pepsi Dig and Day Block Party. Clips has been riding around Chernin on stages again for the past year or so, from festival performances to fashion show appearances to some brief reunions on Wax. And while it's been nearly 14 years since the legendary rap duo released their third LP till the casket drops, Pusha T isn't ruling out another project from himself and his brother Malice. I really would hope so, Push tells people when asked about the possibility of a new Clips project. I really would love to, man. I really would love to. At this point I feel like we've been in a space a lot together lately, and in those spaces the creativity's just been flowing. So that's where you get songs like you heard at the Louis Vuitton fashion show. Really what we've been doing a lot of it is just contributing with our friends, adds Push, who spoke with people ahead of his performance at the Pepsi Dig and Day block party in Washington, D.C. Like, okay, Pharrell's a creative director of LV, he needs music for the show. How would we not show up for that? How would me and my brother not show up for a Nigo album? I think the creativity between us and just the collective of the family that everybody knows where this started from is something that you can't just stop. Since their last album in 2009, and in more recent years, Clips has shared space on Kanye West's Use This Gospel, Nigo's Punchbowl, and I Pray For You off Push's own 2022 album It's Almost Dry. As he explains, the feeling of him and his brother recording together has changed. Before when we were doing music, it was much more of a job, he says. Now everybody is who they are and they're comfortable in their skin and they're comfortable in their space and it's way easier, it's super leisure and it's just all about seeing it and maintaining that high standard of lyricism and high standard of metaphors and punchlines. But it's not a job. What has been part of the job for Push over the last year is touring and playing a few one-off shows with his brother outside of his It's Almost Dry tour. Since their first official onstage reunion at Pharrell Something in the Water Festival in 2022, Clips has performed as a duo for additional times. But hitting the stage with Malice is unlike performing a solo show, Push explains. Being a soloist for so long now, when I'm on stage with my brother, it's like, wait a minute, I actually get this break. I get this rest. I get to actually be a fan of somebody else's verses and not just spinning my own, he adds. I get caught up in his greatness so much, so that's probably about the biggest part for me. For fans who can't catch the Grammy nominee on tour in Europe this month or haven't seen any of his performances with Malice, Push will be performing a solo set at Pepsi's Dig and Day block party in DC on August 19, a DMV homecoming that he calls monumental. The performance, part of the annual initiative to promote black-owned restaurants, will take place at the city's Sandlot Anacostia. Think about it. You're celebrating black-owned businesses. You're feeding the people across the country, and on top of that, it's just community building. And it's community building at one of my favorite spots. It's a place historically that's been known for music, food, fun, and major networking. So it was somewhere where I see myself at. If people haven't seen Pusha T live before, they're in for a treat. My on-off switch is only turned on by me. And again, I'm going to turn it on every time.